Lime in the coconut, you drink a bowl up, you put the lime in the coconut, you drink a bowl up, you put the lime in the coconut, you drink a bowl up, you put the lime in the coconut, you call the doctor, woke him up, say doctor, is there nothing I can take, I say doctor. Yeah. 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 Nice. Well done. Awesome. That's it. Quit while you're ahead. That was Here we go. But the reason I do these drills is to build my eye-hand coordination. Your ability to hit something in motion with your point is super important for a sword fighter. So this is just to demonstrate that if you practice, you can develop pretty good eye-hand coordination and hit small targets in the, in, in the air moving. So this is something you practice at home. It's pretty inexpensive, but it is dangerous. Here's the problem. Whenever you see me drawing from a scabbard, I'm on 120% red alert. It's very easy to pull this sword right through the scabbard and cut the crap out of yourself. Lots of people, they hold the scabbard up here at the mouth, especially when they're drawing from their, from their belt or the obi, and they'll cut out like this, and they'll cut right through that scabbard and through this web of their hand right there, clear up to here. Very dangerous. So, you need to learn to start out slow. One of the tricks is to pull back pull back on this scabbard as I pull out. Then make sure it's all the way out before you start your cut. Don't get in a hurry to cut too soon because you may cut your hand off. Be really careful. This is super dangerous to do, but very useful. In an emergency, I can go from here to my cut in just a fraction of a second.